Howdy, beautiful Bart here, and welcome. Alrighty, so today is Thanksgiving here in the United States, a day where families get together and celebrate. Well, you know, most have lost the meaning of what it actually is, but essentially, Thanksgiving is a day where you are supposed to get together with friends and loved ones, and and even family too, and get together and give thanks to everything and everyone around you to, that has been influential in your life and so forth, but the meaning gets lost, and what it usually turns into is an excuse for people to get together and consume mass quantities of food, get engorged, and then have a, a day where they just get back and relax, and for all those poor souls out there who work retail, and tomorrow is Black Friday. <laughs> I do not miss working retail because I hate Black Friday because there's always such great deals and so forth that should be going on all year round. But, you know, these great deals that are one day only and super low prices and, you know, you get people that go in there and they, they wait outside the store before it opens and wait in line and, you know, just to get great deals on stuff and cool okay I'm not into that whole deal but you know uh, I worked at a, a large gun shop and on Black Friday I mean how we would have people waiting outside overnight just to get in line so they can get in the door to get the the big sales but yeah whatever so moving on from all that I want to go ahead and first off say thank you to a couple things a couple people a couple companies that have helped my life for better or for worse first epic games thank you you have given us a free game engine to work with that works pretty damn good um, and it's free and we can use it to create our own little game worlds that's awesome um, I want us to thank Cindy Studios um, honestly um, they've got really good assets really good prices that helps to populate our worlds with and, you know, I just wanted to say thank you to them for doing such great work and making great stuff. Howdy, bud. So, the project that's in front of me here is just, it was something in, in whenever you're as socially disturbed as I am, and you're thinking about Unreal Engine 4 and assets and blueprints and functions and so forth, that you wake up in the, the, the morning or you wake up whenever you're sleeping, and when you wake up, you are dreaming about a blueprint function or how you can get something to work. When you you wake up and you are having dreams about Unreal Engine 4, you know you got problems. <laughs> so, yeah, and that's what, what happened. Is, and I don't know why, but... And, yes, the Thriller thing came back into my brain. You know, the Thriller challenge that we did a while back. Um and the Cindy Studios assets, and I'll just show you what I had here. And this just came to mind of a game mode to where you've got civilians running around, and you got zombies running around, and in this case, if the civilians get killed, they um, die, and they respawn as zombies. So if the zombies attack them and kill them, they die and they turn into zombies wandering around and, um, you know, <laughs> die. Well, you shoot them and kill them and what? They're already undead, so they just get knocked down and they come back. They're still zombies. So I don't know why, but that's what, what was in my brain this morning whenever I woke up. And it's been a rather long day, but, you know, as you can see, I just started hammering out different things here and you know, on C pawn and, and multiplayer replication and setting up custom events and all that just came to my brain and I had to get up and make it while I was trying to get ready to go out and we did our, our yearly thing. I don't I don't do the turkey anymore. Um the stuffing and the dressing and the the whatevers. I, I don't do that anymore. I, I my family we don't do that anymore. So we just go to a Chinese buffet and we pick out we give our thanks by giving a decent tip. <laughs> so, yeah, we can go somewhere, eat, and then uh, 
let somebody else do the dishes and the cleanup. So that's what was in my brain this morning whenever I woke up was creating a zombie system for, you know, whenever, you know, that's the thing. So well, that, that's actually, you know, not the project that I, I wanted to work on while I was, you know, playing around with this. But he like said, this is what, what had me going this morning whenever I, I woke up was thinking about zombies and death and respawning and you know turning into zombies and that kind of stuff and then a um, cure system where you could go around to the map and as you're you're playing your battle you could actually um, find a cure and walk over and administer the cure and you know it would knock them down and they would then get revived and no longer be zombies so that that's what I was doing <laughs> that's what was in my brain so now I'm not I'm not gonna mess with this project right now. So um, back onto the whole Cindy Studios thing and assets and animations and all the, the wonderful stuff. Um, I have been really considering doing something that was um, a holiday themed project, kick it out, get it out there so that um, it will be ready, you know, two weeks before Christmas time and. It'd be something that people, while they're they're home, they're on break from school, whatever, and they're taking that vacation away from everything. They have nothing but time. So creating a small game that was holiday themed, that would be something kind of cool to play around with. Oh, cut to love coffee. Um, right now it's November twenty second. And honestly, Christmas is going to be on, well, it's on the 25th of December. So you'd want at least a week prior to that when the game gets released, which would be the 18th. So that doesn't leave me a hell of a lot of time, a little bit less than a month to create something, polish that turd enough to where it's actually worth looking at. So what I'm going to do is, as if I don't have enough projects clogging up my, uh, my hard drive, um, I'm going to go ahead and create another project and start working on it to get ready for Christmas. And this will be a Christmas game. And what I want to try to do with that is actually let you guys, the, the viewers and the people who go to my Discord channel, uh, that watch my YouTube videos, help to guide the features that are in this game and part of what's going on with the story of the game. So I'm going to grab my simple multiplayer Steam template. This is the 420 edition. And I'm going to select clone, and I'm going to give it a new name of Hex Miss Hexmas Christmas Hexmas whatever. Um, so we're just going to call it Hexmas. I'm going to hit browse, make sure I'm in my Unreal Projects folder, and create and continue. I'm going to close this project here, and then. As soon as that finishes creating, it'll it'll populate inside here. But before I actually go into the project, there's one thing that I want to do. And this is for people who have my simple multiplayer Steam template. I want to do a little bit different um, menu system so that it looks different than my normal. Okay, so it just, just popped in here. So there it is. So the next thing I actually want to do is go into my Windows File Explorer. Go into my UE4 projects folder, and you see I created Hacksmith. I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to delete the saved folder. And now we're ready to go. So I can now go into the project, and it's just going to be the way it is from default. It's going to have the third-person character. The main character is called player underscore bass. We're going to need music. We're going to need audio files, sound files, sound effects. We're going to need a lot of stuff to put in here. So it's discovering its assets. So I'm going to click right here so I can get my browser to look the way the normal does. And if you wanted to see, go right here, standalone game, and it'll load up as if you were actually playing. So if you're not familiar with my Steam template, this is available. I do sell this. This is about the only thing I do sell right now. But 
you get your Steam username and avatar in the upper right hand corner, access Steam community. So it's, see, it does work. And then you can click on single player and it boom goes into the map. And it's just that, just a little simple map. You can hit escape and either resume game or go back to the main menu. Multiplayer, you can find games or host games. And if you want to host one, you can put a name for whatever you want in the um, title. Hit make and boom it goes in and right now it's going to the same map so you know and that's that and it is you know everything to this point is multiplayer <laughs> replicated because there's nothing so you can walk around and you can jump and that's it you can hit the V key for changing your view to this style I'm gonna change the camera system for first person um, but you also have a health bar and your health system which is replicated but there's nothing in here this is just a basic starting point for you to be able to build a game that's multiplayer based off of that. So again, I can hit escape and either resume game or go back to the main menu and exit game works. I can click that and exit. So that's what you get with that. That's 20 bucks, you know. It's not much. It's like a, they're saying thank you to old fat guy Beefalo Bart and throw him 20 bucks and get a copy of this. So just gotta let me know. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and send you twenty bucks on PayPal. You know, um, you know it's twenty dollars U.S. U.S. currency. I want you to send me twenty yen or twenty Thai baht for for this, because twenty Thai baht is not even a dollar. <laughs> Just saying. If you do it in selected viewport, it doesn't see the Steam stuff. So it's going to say, go connect to Steam Dummy. If you don't have Steam running in the background, it'll say the same thing. So let's think about what we're going to do. Um, I have, and I know this is going to be a shock, I have some Cinti Studios assets. Okay, so I have them all. But um, I want to start adding in some assets. I haven't decided which characters I'm going to use yet, or if I'm just going to use one pack. I'm pretty sure I might use the town pack, maybe the city pack, or, or whatever. But I'm going to start off with something a little bit different. And if you guys are familiar with the City Studios assets and have been to their website, there's a couple things in there that is free. One of those, and if I can find it... Um, Sorry, I'm browsing off screen. I, I have every asset there is from Cine Studios. Um, the majority of them I actually got from the um, the Cine store instead of getting them from the, the UE4 marketplace. It was just kind of a, a thing. So I'm going to add in the Low Poly Christmas. It is free on their website. So you can go there and go through their... their um, their store, find it, and get it free of charge. All right, so I'm actually going to take that. I'm sorry, um, so you can see what I'm doing here. I, I tend to forget that you know you can't see my other monitors and what I'm doing. So I'm going to grab the low poly Christmas. I'm going to go to my project, and there's my content folder. And I'm just going to right click, drag it to my content folder, and copy here. And that's it on this one. And I'm just going to go ahead and go to File, New Level, and I'm going to use VR Basic. When I use the VR Basic one, the first thing I do is I grab all my lighting stuff and I just drag it underneath the surface. I click this guy, and you can see you got a ball, all these cubes, and then I'm going to Control Left click on Pyramid and poof, delete those character I'm just gonna shove him out of the way for now um, and rotate him back to zero so that's gonna face him towards this way so now if I hit play nothing's gonna happen because I'm retarded and change it to third person game mode and save all and then I can go ahead and save this into my maps folder very important to using the maps folder and call this my test map so now if we hit play, we have this little lovely world to work with. Nice. The Low Poly Christmas. What comes with the Low Poly Christmas? You got meshes. You've got um, 
they're called bubbles, but these are actually ornaments that you can put on to your tree. So take a minute to draw the uh, the material, but um, but yeah, you can put those in. So you've got a, a pre-decorated Christmas tree. You know, the first time you you load things, you're always going to have that <sighs> dealing with the um, materials. But you got the Christmas tree. This one's already decorated with lights and stuff, which is cool. Um, plus, you also have another tree that is not. It's plain. So if you want to put stuff on, like you've got the uh, the tree ribbon right here is actually separate. You can put it on pine cones. Um, not every culture uses pine cones to decorate their trees, but it's a nice thing. Um, you got presents. You got um, cookies, a plate. You know, some hot cocoa and a coffee mug, candy canes, a star for the top of the tree. And you know, there's all kind of little cool things um, that you can do. There's a teddy bear. There's a chimney. Or if you would refer to it as just being a fireplace. So you could actually do this and put a fire emitter in there or, or what have you. What sadistic person lights a fire in their fireplace on Christmas Eve knowing that how is Santa going to get in if there's a fire in the fireplace? I mean, come on. What the hell, dude? Lost your stinking ass mind. And you could put some stockings on the fireplace. Because everybody likes um, highly flammable fabrics hanging from their fireplace. And it's a long standing tradition. So. <laughs> you got that. You can throw presents under the tree um, so you can set up a nice little scene for this however um, Lisa's says with the idea of okay well this is the low poly stuff but it kind of fits in pretty well with the um, the regular polygon stuff it doesn't come with any particle effects or uh, what you see right here is what you get you know okay that's fine um, get the tree, presents, fireplace. These are things that'll come in handy. So what I think I'll do is actually I could set up the Polygon Town. I think it would be good. The Polygon Town does not come with snow. So I'd probably end up having to bring in like Vikings or one of the other ones that I know that does have snow. So I'm actually going to go ahead and no, you ask clown. I click here and I click shift click here and you do that. You go away. Again, you can't see what I'm doing here in the upper right hand corner. So let me turn off the camera. I know I don't want to deprive you guys of my my all my sexiness, but you know. Gotta do it sometimes. Test map, right click, create folder, map shitola. And then I'm gonna grab the stuff and the stuff. So, what will we want to see in a Christmas-themed game? What will we do? What What do we have? What do we want? What does, you know, a Christmas game feel like? That doesn't come across as being absolutely boring. Because I'm sure I can create boring. I am boring. I have no life. So, what do we want in a Christmas game? And while we're thinking about that, I'm going to go ahead and start copying in some stuff. Um, so we get the low poly Christmas in there. We could do um, city characters, city zombies, Easter. The Easter pack's going to have, like, you know, eggs and baskets and things like that. Um... Fantasy characters. Nature pack. I'm pretty sure I probably want the nature pack in there. Um, but we'll hold off on the nature pack for right now. Wait, that was the low poly Christmas. Um, I have a different one here. Let me check the materials last year. I don't know what this is. Um, 
Yeah, it appears it's the same thing that I had. I broke it down into other stuff. But it appears to have some other things in here. Um, I have a snowman I see in there. I'm going to go ahead and put this one in here. Um, I don't know where this one came from so pardon me while I do something really quickly here and I'm going to do poly because it's in the polygon folder I know it's polygon assets and I got it's not set up the same way so I don't know what it is here so let's create the new folder textures and and these other textures here and then we had another one which was meshes and let's open that one up and these are all FBX files. So I'm just going to drag them in here. I may not use all of them. I may only use some of them. Um, but I'm just going to drag them all in here. And it's going to ask for a skeletal mesh. I'm just going to select import all and let it do its thing. So you guys give me some ideas of what you think should be in a Christmas themed game. So I remember I've I've looked at this one before, but yeah, I think this was um, I don't know what this one is, but if nothing else, I've got the the snowman, and yeah, get some other stuff in here. Well, of course, food, but. What would actually be the the gameplay aspect of? Well, the, I don't have materials for these yet. So another thing, screw you. I'm being screwed right now. Go to the main window, you piece of snipe. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have food and snow and that kind of stuff. But do we want combat of any kind? Do we want um, fight off Christmas zombies or, or a zombie horde attack or? Um, you know what will, could we do to make this a fun game that um, will be worth doing? See, I thought about like, um, and I discussed this with one of my teammates um, of actually having three different main storylines of this project, and I'm gonna start doing some of this while I'm, we're talking about it. So, just gonna do this, create material, and then move it to the materials folder. The first objective is you are, um, you know, you're, you see the Christmas scene, and what happens is, and this is kind of dark, is you are a demon spawned from hell. You have spawned upon Earth with the sole objective of going through and trying to stop Christmas. However, no matter how you try, you're unable to succeed. So, you know, that kind of, you know, threw some people off there. And, okay, no problem. So what about the idea that um, how the Grinch stole Christmas? How they just released another Grinch movie? Um... I'm just going to go through and just make these all, all materials and I'll drag them all over at the same time. Red and orange. And follow the same basic How the Grinch Stole Christmas theme where you're setting out to actually stop Christmas and um, as you're going through being a, a dirty rotten little bastard trying to stop Christmas 
you realize that it's just not possible and something caused you to have a change of heart and you end up then going through trying to save Christmas and trying to make Christmas better. Cartoon materials, um, well, honestly, that's part of the reason why I'm doing this stuff, but for your project, you talk about doing like outlines and shader materials and stuff like that. Um, Dean Ashford had a good series on that. So we got materials now. And I'm not going to bore you guys with actually doing all of these, but ones for sure that um, would need to change is going to be the snowman and the snowman base. So now I can come in here and try these materials that I just created. Um, yeah, that one, there you go. And probably would need to go back in there and modify that so that I can actually do um, an emissive. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll change this over and well it's snowman base so it's going to be white anyway so I guess it really didn't matter all that much. Um, material, go back in here and what I'll do is I will drag this one down. Why are you dragging me down bruh? Um, this is an emissive. I'm just going to drag that in there. Just by dragging it and dropping it in there, it should now be in there. Come on. What's that happening, John? You know, we're trying to come up with some kind of themed game for Christmas. Get your ass in What? You're an emissive. Oh, you're a material. Oh, you're such an idiot. Anyway, um, yeah, drag the emissive in there. Now get your ass up there. And just get in there. I, I'm not going to spend a hell of a lot of time fixing these materials. So I don't remember much about this pack here. But, yeah, the, the, the concept that we kind of came up with was either A, we are following the How the Grinch Stole Christmas theme, and... It's either that or we're just going to go ahead and be, you know, on a mission. The demon spawns from hell are coming to um, try to stop Christmas. Um, let's actually delete you for a minute. Put your base in. And then put the snowman in. So, if nothing else, that mess of FBX files that I had there, um, he was hidden amongst them that wasn't in the other Christmas pack. Um, I know that the rest of these are actually, I think these were, this was a, a Cinti pack that was actually for Unity. Snowball fight is not a bad idea, too. Um, I don't know if any of you guys remember, there was um, a plethora of older South Park games, and one of the South Park games and part of it you can throw snowballs and then if you hit a, a key on your keyboard you would see the snowball come out of your view you would hear an unzip sound and then uh, and now your snowball's yellow <laughs> and your yellow snowball does bonus damage <laughs> so that's a thing <coughs> Christmas pudding Go back and I'll just um, get all the the wrapping stuff, and what those are going to be for is yeah. See, there's your Christmas pudding. What it was is um, you know that that game was just well crazy to begin with. These are packages, the complete packages. You can actually use the different materials on them. Um, stuff like this right here is actually a ribbon. So you would go like, put that one on there, and then when you got the other package, you could put the top on if you want to, or you could have the box showing empty, um, and then you actually found the package, the rest of the package in here, and as you're going through, you could do, uh, like, 
that and change the materials around so you got the different box and then when you you put the box in here you put the lid on there and then you could actually put the wrapping on the pieces of parts were separate so you could mix and match and have different colored wrapping and boxes and ribbons and so forth but the only one I was really worried about was the snowman for right now we've already got the Christmas tree so I'm not really worried about that but what I can do is compare the two together see if there's any difference yeah it's a little bit different um, different colors on it so let's actually spawn this tree in and just for giggles we'll quickly go down and we'll throw that one on here you see that's good too you gotta have something to mix things up you know okay yeah that was just a tree tree so yeah we got a Christmas tree here but there's no real emissives and nothing's lighting up and things like that so that's why I'll come back and address later it's not one to sit here and do while I'm actually in in the stream so we got two different trees to compare between the poly Christmas and low poly Christmas so a little bit different yeah, the material looks a little whack because it didn't take much time to actually fix the materials correctly. Like I said, I think this was a, a version that was released for um, Unity. Yeah, the base of the tree is white on that one. But yeah, um, we'll revisit this portion of it. So, I like the idea of a snowball fight. So... I, I went to the dark route and was thinking demon spawns from hell and, you know, we're fighting zombies or whatever on Christmas, you know, Eve, trying to save our town so that Christmas will be saved. And I'm thinking all this dark route, I mean, hell, we guys are coming up with better ideas because, you know, it's less violent and horrific. Oh, well, it could be, you know, that, you know, it's just a snowball fight. You're running around town just throwing snowballs at each other. Set up a scoring system, maybe, um, you know, using the hell system to where if you get hit X number of times you're out and you start back at the spawn point or whatever but then it comes into yeah let's go ahead and create um, a snowball and I'm, I'll have to come up with some animations I would assume that a grenade throwing animation would work good enough for a snowball right I like that idea John um sorry looking through asset packs again um I want the town pack. Town. Um, no, I have another version. Don't ask. Um, Polygon Town. Haven't you opened up this version yet? Yeah, all my versions of uh, the Cindy Studio stuff came from the um, the Cinti store. Yeah, we won't get into the why do I have different versions on the question. So I'm, I'm re extracting the um the town pack. So I haven't actually used this version. It's the same thing. It'll look the same. Um I had a early version and I was doing bug reports on it, so There we go. So here is the Polygon Town. So I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving today. Um, and so my family, we got together for our um, traditional Chinese buffet and got good and fat and dumb and, and happy and hung out and just spent some time together. <laughs> weather changing back and forth one day it's cold one day it's warm it's going to have me sick for the rest of the holidays so we're all familiar with the demonstration map that came with the polygon town pack but like I said I'm pretty sure there's no snow in here 
and there's no snow covered buildings and that kind of stuff um, it doesn't have to be set in this asset pack it doesn't um, have to be set in Polygon Town and any town USA and that kind of stuff we're all familiar with this guy um, but none of the buildings actually have snow on them there's no snow particle effect and stuff like that so um, just as an idea I mean does it have to be you know small town USA and get rid of some of the vehicles and that kind of stuff off the streets and or do we want to, you know, if it's going to be like snowball fight or whatever else, then you really need to have something that's, um, hello camera, focus. If I keep my fat ass still, I might stay focused. Um, where's the particle effects? I thought it was going to have particle effects with it. Huh. Weird. Um, or we could set it into a different time frame or a different uh, format. I mean, like I said, I've got all of these Cinti asset packs. I swear there's no no particle effects in here at all. Usually they have particle effects in the town pack, I thought. Um, so, yeah, let's try... Um, as an alternative to the um, the the town pack, so I know that the Vikings, I believe, had snow. The Polygon Nature pack has a snow particle effect. Um, I don't think Adventures did. Let me. I'll, I'm going to throw the the Vikings pack in here just to look at the particle effect for the snow and and look at some of those assets. I don't know if you guys are even familiar with the um the Viking. It, it didn't come across as one of their their hot sellers, but I don't know why. I mean, it's um cool stuff. Oh, damn it. Windows Explorer. I like when you click on a damn folder and it opens it up in both the this side and this side so I can see what the hell I'm doing so I know that that's the folder that I actually need so I'm just going to grab that and copy here only 86 megabytes so that's the other thing I like about these asset packs they're small but they're very useful so let's look at the map here You know, you guys have seen this map a, a thousand times. Well, maybe not a thousand times, but a bunch of times in my other videos. See, I can already see the particle effect of snow coming down here. So, as it's compiling in shaders, I'll zoom out. You got a little Viking village here, and you got an island over there, and then you got some stuff over here. But we'll let this go ahead and compile. I know this one has snow. It has snow-covered buildings and things like that. So we could always use this village here, or this you know this asset pack. As soon as it finishes composting its shaders, I know I have to have a grenade, a grenade throwing animation or something somewhere. I will dig through. I'm sure I got one, and just make the the system. See if I can come up with just a regular snowball. There we go. We get in color now. So what I'm going to do is make sure I set my game mode override. And welcome back. So that's all the shaders. So looks pretty cool. You got snow coming down over here. There's no snow on that island, but that's covered in ice. How do they skip all the snow? Well, let's actually pray from here. You get snow coming down, the snow covered dock here. Um, nice anvil there. You get snow covered pathways, fire particles. I don't know. What do you guys think? 
They get some stuff to do fortifications. There's snow. What is that over there? Well, let's fly over there later. Um, so you can set up uh, opposing forts, or you can just have one regular town, and everybody's running around throwing snowballs. It's nice that there's snow on the edge, but not in the middle, because it's a covered area. That's a nice little deal there. Trees, boats, and what snowball fight wouldn't be great with without fish there, you know? Maybe come over here and grab a fish and, and throw them. You know, there's a couple of things that it's not in this pack that I think should be in every damn one of their packs, or sold separately, whatever. Um, the fish and the shark. It's the only two critters that there is, other than um, I know that. Um, they did have a horse pack for Unity, but you can actually put the fish in here. They're animated. Um, the sharks, they're animated. I did one, just somebody that had that pack. I did a um, just a little short tutorial on setting up the shark form. All right, so these are non-snow covered buildings. Wouldn't work for a snowball fight, but. I don't know, I like the snow stuff. Um, so we got a snowy village. We got um, snow particle effect at least. And um, we always have that to work with. So you can actually set it up and I would probably just make my own version of this because these buildings, they, they don't have really the, the best tolerances of running around. We'll see what this was over here. It needs like a fire burning in that. So if we do snowball fight, then you know, could always use these assets here, build a map that's um, I don't know, maybe a fortified walls going all the way around. It's nice that they're curved there too. Um, set up a big fortification so you have the. Uh, no, these are demonstration maps to come with the asset packs. I didn't make these maps. I'm just showing you that, um, you know, we got the snow particle effect and that, that kind of stuff. And snow covered grounds, snow covered um, objects on the map, things like that. So we could use this as our town. And maybe not this map in general, make a new map for it. But, um, and then just get snowball, set up some Christmas decorations around town, um, get that whole vibe of Christmas going on. Maybe some subtle Christmas music going in the background. Not too cheesy, but, you know, just enough to kind of get the vibe going. Cause, um, and go ahead and establish us a character. but Or a character switching system, whatever. I don't make anything. I'm a friggin' old hack. You know that. I don't do maps. <laughs> I take way too long to do maps. Ah, I'm waiting through the snow. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is a good potential here. You get snow-covered trees, and you get snow-covered um, buildings and fortifications, stuff like that. So, you know, if we wanted to do a snowball fight inside of a, a village or something like this, we could have the walls instead of an entryway or whatever. Maybe have it blocked. Um, set it up to where, you know, this kind of stuff. So you can run around town and chase each other. And, you know, I saw you run over there, so I'm throwing snowballs. And then actually set up um, a projectile system and, you know, make sure that everything replicates correctly. And so you can see the snowballs coming. So you can, oh, shit, he's throwing snowballs at me. I'll come over here. And then you kind of peek back over and you, you throw more snowballs at him and you guys are running around back and forth trying to hit each other with snowballs. Of course, I'll want like a, a particle effect or an em emitter of seeing the snowball splatter against something whenever it hits. Um, the background sounds, because this is like dead quiet in here. I, I can't stand a quiet map. So... You know, there's awkward silence and there's just 
There's just no noise. So yeah, um, this could potentially be a good starting point. So we could just start making characters, but then do we stick with this theme and use their characters? Your particle effects, snow, smoke, and fire. Um, I think there's some snow-covered stuff in the nature pack. I'll, I'll bring that in at some point. Um, yeah, this is characters and updated rigs. So there's two different versions of the characters in here. And you know how I solve that problem. I make my own skeletal rig and just convert these over to use my skeleton instead. Um, props. So, yep, there's fish. You could throw fish at each other. Um, weapons. We won't really need if we're going to do a snowball, but we do have shields. You know, so, okay, you raise a shield and block the snowball, perhaps. Um, vehicles. Well, that's just going to be the ships. They're modular or the snow covered versions or variants of. Maybe not so much that, but we have glacier stuff and snow-covered stuff here. So there's enough stuff in here that I could use to, to make the maps. Um, buildings and then snow-covered buildings. So you just use those to set up all these different um, little buildings. Like boathouses to regular longhouses and that kind of stuff. The characters... There is only one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's five here. Huh. Weird. So let's look at the standard character mesh and see if it'll load the um the texture or the material. There we go. So we got this little lady here. And load this guy. He's got that war paint going on. We got um I find it always funny that you always see Vikings represented with big old horns on their helmet and they just didn't do that. So do we do this and use these characters? Get some war paint on his face. That's cool. Uh, how about this guy? And last but not least, the chief. Hey, we've got an old fat guy with um, white hair. And it's got to be me, right? My hair is not white, thank you very much. And no, I don't use hair color. That's just natural. It doesn't... This doesn't gray right now. This, well, it's just screwed, but... So, we have characters. We can use those kind of characters. We can use other characters. Um, I don't know. You guys, throw me some suggestions here. Snow-covered Viking areas. So, I make a snow-covered Viking map. Like a village map. With... Um, snowballs and I'm pretty sure I don't have a, a snowball prop but how hard can it be to, to use a sphere and you know the default um, material which is going to be white anyway so that's the thing Vikings is a good potential possibility for creating that effect you know the snow and snow coming down and just actually make a, a decent map and honestly I think it would juggle between first person and third person like normal um, I'll redo my camera system at some point I won't mess with that on camera yeah and I like the in infinity blade stuff they look a lot better than you know these but if we're going to use the other themed buildings and stuff like that, whenever I had the Infinity Blades um, uh, snowpack or Iceland, I think it was called, 
and yeah it's nice and that would be a good thing if you want to go towards realism but since I have so many characters that are actually um, you know the Cindy Studios assets I figured I'd try to use those as much as I could so I have the luxury of having all of them so it's not like I'm like oh well I don't have this one or I don't have that one I have them all so I can pull all of them in Um, yeah. Uh, you know, the animated st animation starter pack doesn't have the grenade animation. I know I've got animations around here somewhere that'll handle the uh, grenade. Yeah, I'm, I'm not much of a Christmas person anymore. Don't have kids to buy for. I don't have grandkids to buy for. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. So I'm not worried about it. Christmas doesn't do anything for me. It's just another day of the week that, you know, there's no excuse to feel bad. Bah humbug, you know? <laughs> Not trying to be all bah humbug and stuff here, but... Um, nature pack, that's what I came in here for. Yeah, I just don't get excited for Christmas anymore. It's just, you know, not a thing. You know, before starting this project in this this stream, I wasn't hungry, but damn it, I'm hungry now. Yeah, the nature pack is 384 megabytes. One of the, if not the largest, um, asset pack that Cindy has released. You ain't buying for no damn body this year. Y'all better be buying me shit, because I'm nice. I'm even thinking of building you guys a game that we can play and, you know, throw snowballs and yellow snowballs and things like that. Nature effects. Butterflies, fire, grass blowing. But me for Christmas. What, um, a, um, a spell check? Leaves golden. So we have, like, golden snow, too. We have snow, um... And no, I didn't load this just for the snow. This is, these do have some pretty good um, uh, stuff in it. Yeah, leave it to me, and I'll, I'll have like an eat emote where you can actually, you know, you're throwing snowballs, and your character, if you go idle for a minute, he takes a bite out of a snowball. And but if you 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 unzip and create a yellow snowball, and you like <laughs> smell it, look, ew, <laughs> you know, and shake it out of your hand. Yeah, we already mentioned the yellow snowballs, Lex. Got to keep up, man. Because in reference to the the yeah, that was like ten minutes ago. We mentioned using yellow snowballs. The that South Park game. You said whenever you're you're sitting here throwing snowballs and it's like rapid fire throwing snowballs, but then you're like, and you see the snowball disappear. You're an unzip sound, and then uh, and you bring it back up, and it's yellow and it's dripping. So, you know, let's see, over here, got some snow-covered mountains and snow-covered trees. I like these trees. And there was a snow particle effect that was on here. Yeah, well, just keep up with the conversation. I'm just saying, as I'm, but yeah... I will have, if, if we're going to do snowballs, then I'm definitely going to do a yellow snowball thing. Um, and as you're running around, you'd have to have like a like a stamina meter or an ammo meter or whatever. So you just would have to have a, a P meter, which would be a little yellow progress bar at the bottom of the screen. So if you're dry on, on your yellow meter, it doesn't auto-regen, but maybe if it does, like really, really slow. But you can go around and drink a beer, and although it'll fill up your, your meter, it might make your screen fuzzy, or you know, something like that. Um, game, I, I refer back to classic games, but some of the classic games were a lot of stuff that was tongue-in-cheek. Everybody wants to put out these modern warfare, or Fortnite, even Fortnite is, is starting to get more or less serious, where they're adding fun things in, but um, 
you know, like, you get these too, too serious of a game and, you know, whatever. Have some fun. Games used to be fun. Duke Nukem 3D. Um, you know, things like that. No, quit plugging your products. Um, you don't. You haven't paid enough to and contribute enough to be promoting your stuff. So, um, yeah, the um, games were tongue in cheek, like the original South Park game we mentioned, where you're creating yellow snowballs, or you know, there's, there needs to be more fun things going into freaking games nowadays. You know, you want to. You want your games to be fun. You want your players to just laugh their ass off. Back in the day, it was LAN parties. And there was no real internet gameplay. It wasn't really a thing yet. And if you wanted to play with other people, you know, there were some methods, but they weren't great. Um, but if you wanted to play with your buddies, you had a LAN party. And you would bring all your computers together and to somebody's house and... You know, they got somebody over here at the kitchen table. Two people might be on the kitchen table, and somebody might be in the other room, in this room, and hell, I'm just trying to shove people wherever you can fit in somebody's house. And it was amazing fun. Or, you know, as you have more and more money and throwing things around money wise, um, you might rent um, a hotel, uh, like, conference room or something like that. So you have enough room and tables and chairs and everything else and electrical plugs. So now you've got a dozen people piled up in one room. All the computers are daisy chained together with an old F-type um, connectors and cable TV lines and, and that kind of stuff. And, you know, that was a thing. And then you started getting the, the regular network cables and that kind of stuff. Yeah, Minecraft wasn't even around. We're talking about the olden days, early days of, of PC gaming. Um, and it was just, we had a ball. We were playing games that were just absolutely stupid fun. We would bring back classics like Duke Nukem 3D. We all made our own custom maps for Duke Nukem 3D. And, you know, using the, uh, the sound emotes where you push a, a key and it would play a, a sound file... And we would make our own custom sound files like um, Beavis and Butthead or Ren and Stimpy or whatever else. We were bringing in sound bites from, you know, goofy stuff like Beavis and Butthead. Beavis screaming out, ah, you're trying to touch my wiener. Or he's trying to touch my wiener. Or just dumb shit like that. And we were in, enthralled in the gameplay. It didn't matter if one person was kicking somebody's ass more than somebody else was. It didn't matter. Because we were all in the same room together. I'm like, hey, screw you. I'm going to kick your ass. You stupid SOB. We're cussing at each other. Saying the most disgusting, horrible things. And then we'd take a break and go, you know, grab some lunch. Or somebody would go and bring a lunch for everybody. Or for somebody's house, you know, have like a, a barbecue. So there's a, a hog being cooked or whatever, you know. It brought people together, and we had fun. The worst part about land parties was set up and tear down, and the feeling afterwards, your face physically hurt because you were shouting and you were screaming and you were laughing so friggin' hard that it was just fun. Video games used to be that kind of fun, and now modern games are just crap. Oh, I can go play Fortnite and run around and uh, yeah, I just wrecked that guy or the division. I just folded him up and you know gaming's not fun anymore and I mean real fun and fun for everybody playing. There's always gonna be some douche knuckle that is cheating or hacking or just has more skill than and no life and they spent all their time setting up their character so they can just wreck everybody they see and you know, it's whatever quit being douche knuckles have fun in the game and game creators it's your job to make games fun so, so we're just staring at shit here not actually doing anything here um, and I'm ranting on like normal essentially we want a snowball system. We want to be able to throw snowballs. And I don't actually have a snowball, so 
um, short term let's go to gadgets or assets and you know, assets folder new folder weapons in case we decide to add more weapons in here and then we're going to create another one for projectiles so we might make a, a, a snowball rocket launcher or what you know snowball launcher but we have to have a snowball we need a projectile so yes I love co-op games that's what I prefer to play but back then there really wasn't anything in the way of um, of that and you know um, probably need to rename that so that I can do BP underscore so I know that it's the, the, the blueprint for the snowball but yeah Descent um, Quake um, Unreal Tournament Rise of the Triad uh, you want a, a good one how about um, Shadow Warriors <laughs> oh god tongue in cheek the whole way through Let's add a component a sphere and we're just going to call that our snowball snowball and because we want it to be a working projectile and actually do stuff let's move that up and make it the scene route so now we have our snowball the scale is way off we're gonna have to scale it down considerably um, I'm gonna leave it at one to one to one blah, 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 and, until I get some more things set up and it's projectile movement and to start off with our initial speed um, 1200 and 1200 we want it kind of slow because so we can see what we're doing yeah the first ghost recon I did some yeah I, I love the original hidden and dangerous stuff um, ghost recon I did some consulting work on and the early now another good one was actually SWAT 3 gold SWAT 3 was was fun because everybody in your element you could be in multiplayer and everybody is on the police team so we, we would just stack up and do our thing just because I hate when I open up a blueprint and there's nothing there um, I just throw something in here <laughs> um, okay so we're snowball we have a projectile movement and that's enough to get us going and where's our player spawn right here so we can just grab our snowball and just throw it into the map we can obviously see that it is much too big so you can see it just launches right there so um, our scaling on it I think we should probably scale this down just a wee bit and I didn't have to do that but you know I know about where I want to go with the scale on this Let's try it at 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and that's a little bit better. Well, there's our snowball. Actually, I want it a little bit bigger. You want it to be visible. You want to see it. Um, snowball. Let's try 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Now that'll be too big for the Sinti characters, so and we'll just bring them back down to 1.5. Yeah, no. 0.15. So that should be pretty good. So once we're using the Sinti characters, we actually have an effectively sized snowball. It's pretty big, so we'll we'll be able to see it. And um, our snowball. Let's start off with um, making sure component replicates. Everything replicated. Replicate the planet. I could be a replicant. You don't know that. Um, always relevant. Replicate movement. I want to make sure this damn thing is visible. So whenever it's thrown by server or client, you actually see it. 
So we got our projectile. I'm going to rotate it up. Dunk, and there it goes. So there's our snowball. And it seems to have physics to it, so or at least a collision to it. So that's that. And then we can always do just short term. We'll just get it and we'll start throwing it just for shits and grins. Um, then I'll start changing characters over and things like that. So let's start off with, and I'll make sure everything replicates later. I'm just going to get it, us throwing this and then I'm going to hop off the stream for a little bit and then I'll probably stream some more and just whatever. But let's see, keyboard. No, I don't want keyboard. I want left mouse button and um, let's see here viewport yeah everybody makes fun of my camera system it sucks but whatever it's where I learned it and how I learned it so it's their fault not mine so let's add a component to the mesh arrow and you see it's facing the opposite direction so well it's facing to the left so what I'll do is do that bring it up and honestly uh, sh let's attach it to the FPS camera I know, I know, it sucks, whatever. But then, first off, stop moving. And let's just drag it forward a little bit. For right now, this is where we're going to spawn our snowball, just to get us started. And it's going to work off the first person camera, and then, whatever. So, um, I'll go ahead and grab a reference to that. When I press the left mouse button, I want to spawn actor from class. And snowball. It'll go through a lot of changes, trust me. This is just short term to get us throwing a snowball. And let's make transform. Uh, no, not really. Let's just go ahead and get um, the world transform from our arrow component and just plug that in there. Now, I haven't set it up to be conditional when you're in a certain view or anything else yet. So if I just throw it, hello, can I help you with something? That is not my snowball projectile. What the hell? Um, snowball. Well, first I haven't added any collision to it yet, but um, I'm using the the world transform, but no, let's actually. Oh, you suck so much ass make transform and now we can break it from there so actually um get the world transform and then break that and then I will get just the location and rotation so we can break that transform get location rotation and then ignore the scale and because that's what was happening is it was getting the transform of the arrow setting the scale to one so let's see if that actually rescales our, our snowball nope you suck donkey penis because now it's reading it at there so donkey penis all right there's our snowball it's not moving yet, but it's a snowball. 
So if we look, it's right there. So movement wise, projectile movement. Um, let's bring it up to and whatever I'm throwing should bounce. So what the hell did I forget? I spawn a projectile. Okay. So yeah, there it is. We can throw a snowball. I left gravity on there because, well, I don't know about the, the should bounce thing. Might go back and, and screw around with the bounce variables. Because that's a little bit too much bounce. You might want it to skip or something like that, but let's turn off should bounce. Just really want it to whatever it, it hits something to actually break. As weird is whenever I turn off should bounce, it quits working. I don't get it, but you know, welcome to Unreal Engine 4. And that's all I'm doing is I'm turning on should bounce, and so now it's working. So another thing I will do here is um, if we do this, you watch my actor count um, in the World Outliner. These things are just going to stay there, and next thing you know, you've got four billion freaking snowballs in your map. So let's go back to the event graph on event begin play. Uh, set lifespan, and let's make that hell two seconds. Now we go back into our game, hit play, and as we're throwing our snowballs. They're just going all over the damn place, but they only last for two seconds, and they go away. So there, we can do snowballs. So then, we've got to have... Uh, Alright, you guys refresh my memory on, the, on this. It makes you materials... Well, I got that one. That will work for now. Um, let's just be a dirty little bastard and, um, do this. Um, right mouse button. What we want to do is, this is just going to be short term, I'm going to take it back out and I'll rewrite a whole new system for it, but I just want to be a little dirty bastard and just be weird yellow snowball create that variable and whatever I'll set the replication on it um, so I'll come back and I'll make sure everything replicated and I'll throwing so everybody sees the snowballs in the air and that kind of shit so um, what I'll do is when we press the right mouse button we will set yellow snowball to true and then come back to our snowball and for right now event tick and we'll cast to player underscore base get our character reference and we want to oh well, let's just type in get yellow snowball and got our branch node we'll set that to there and if it's true then what we'll do here is um, let's actually get a reference to our snowball and set material and 
I want two of these. So if this is true, we'll do that. If it's false, we'll do that. And oh, I've got to connect to you. All right, so do I currently? Yes, I have white. I'm going to change that to sand on our snowball. Um, well, I have a snow, but that's a particle effect. I don't want to do that. Um, so we we'll use sand for our our color. It's got to redraw the material, but it's a little bit. It's close to white, but it's a little bit different shade. So we'll go back here and we will do that. Do that, I said. Oh, well, kiss my ass. Um, but when we hit the yellow snow button, and this is subject to change here. Um, <laughs> so let's set a condition in here. We'll set this. We'll do a delay of five seconds, and then we will set yellow snowball to false. So for that five second period, we can throw yellow snowballs. We had a right mouse button. So now we go in here and we're throwing our snowballs, the new color, right mouse button. Ah oh, well, the new projectiles will come out yellow or yellowish. So when we hit the right mouse button, we, we just created yellow snowballs. <laughs> so when the timer is up, it just automatically goes back to um to the regular snowballs. And there we go. <laughs> okay, it's a start. But the thing is, it the snowballs that it's spawning, if these are already out on the map, the ones that are already out there will change colors. So, yeah. It's a start for making yellow snowballs. What the hell, you know? Again, have some fun. I will look at particle effects, see what I can come up with, and I will add a collision event so that whenever it actually hits a wall or a player or whatever, it'll actually have a, it'll have the, the snow splash and like the snowball break apart and it'll destroy itself, maybe apply damage, even though, you know, we've got a health bar for damage, it won't kill us, there's snowballs. I'll set up a character, that kind of stuff. The usual stuff. Alright, I'm going to take a break for a little bit, and then when I come back, um, I'll announce again in, in Discord when I'm actually going to do it. And um, If you guys want to throw some other suggestions in there, and you know, think about this project. I mean, you can either, during the stream, you can suggest things in it. So we've got throwing snowballs, and we've got yellow snowballs. And, yeah, just see what you can come up with for ideas. And if you want to make suggestions for it, we'll make this a community-based project and get it thrown together, neatened up, cleaned up, clean up the, the systems and replicate everything and make a multiplayer freaking snowball fight, Christmas-themed snowball fight. I'm going to browse around the... Um, you guys are familiar that I use Technoax for the music and... What I'll do is I will sort through the music from Technoax. And again, if you're not familiar with, um, sorry, I'm just moving that off screen so you guys don't see my all of my references to Pornhub. You know, just music. Mm. No, I'm not going to make you sit here and listen to me pick through music on on the stream. Just kind of showing you. We got Halloween. Um, Sure, there's got to be something in that would fit the Christmas theme from here. 
soundscapes. He's got some really cool stuff in soundscapes. He does actual music too. Um, dude's talented, man. Techno X, good stuff. And it's royalty free, so that's why you know I've got the the logo in my map and or my main menu. Introduction, background, but holiday. Let's just quickly throw in there. It's a wily Christmas or Willie Christmas here. Strumming by the fire. So yeah, there's a bunch of them that are here. So you pick out one, click on it, and it gives you this whole list down here. So you can actually like pick one. It shows a YouTube preview, and you go through here and pick different ones, and it just refreshes it. So just click on, and it plays a YouTube preview. So I'll go through and I'll listen to um, a bunch of these different ones and see if there's any that I like. And then, then we need to decide, do we want to load up the file size and convert it into a WAV file? Or do we want to go ahead and just throw them in as a um, MP3 and do it that way to keep file size down? Which is probably what I'll do, is I'll put in a, um, I'll put the things in as an MP3 so that I can actually um, keep the file size as low as possible so we can minimize things. And I probably won't do a crosshair system because it's a damn snowball, you know. Pretty much have infinite ammo anyway. But I'll put like a rate of fire thing so you're not sitting here doing that, you know, spamming it. So you have like, you know, one snowball every seven tenth of a second or five tenth of a second. So you're not double tapping, you know, having some rate of fire. But then again, could always get a pickup item that will increase your rate of fire for three seconds or two seconds or whatever and then you're back to your slower snowballs so you can have pickup items that will increase your rate of fire um, things like that I gotta look at the replication uh, Lexmark, Le uh, Lexmark I know one of the problems you were having was when you spawn a projectile and the way your multiplayer was set up you were spawning two projectiles. So I will make sure that I get that worked out on mine before and you know once I get it working correctly and replicating correctly and everything else so I'm pretty sure I don't have this it's probably not going to work right right now but I know that your problem was you were showing so client and server. I'm not going to worry about moving everything around to get it just right or anything. I just want to be able to see both on the same screen. It's like the um, the client can see his own snowballs but the server doesn't see the snowballs coming out. So I will make sure that the replication is correct and the server right now can't see it you know, can see his own but the client can't see. So I'll, I'll replicate everything on there so that we can see each other's snowballs. So I'll take care of all that and get it all tweaked and working. Um, see, damn you, John. I keep looking at freaking your comment there. I want to play Hidden and Dangerous. And whenever I originally bought that game, it was on CD-ROM, so God knows where those CD-ROMs have gone over the years. I had Hidden and Dangerous and Hidden and Dangerous 2. Now I want to play that shit. You're killing me. <laughs> So, go take a break for a little bit. My coffee has gone cold. And I will start working on some of the replication of the snowballs. And I don't need this one in the map anymore. Um, and I'll get that tweaked up. If you guys have suggestions, throw them in Discord. Um, I'll be streaming pretty much constantly doing this project. Just because it's a seasonal thing, I want to get it knocked out and... If nothing else, put it on itch.io, and of course it's going to require Steam, but I don't want to put a themed game on Steam and spend that money for for doing that, unless I'm planning on doing it for something else, so we'll just keep it on um, itch.io, it'll be free to play, it won't be anything special, but it'll be a fun little snowball fight, we can run around and, and have fun, so I'll see what I can do to kind of make it look cool, feel cool and have a good vibe to it. But you guys drop me suggestions on Discord and we'll start plugging in these different things. And if you have suggestions on how I can refine things, I'm all open to, to ideas. But 
for the rest of this evening before I go back to bed, you yeah, know, back to bed, uh, I'm going to screw around with, you know, the snowballs, the replication. I'll look through my animation, see if I've got a, an, an animation. And if not, then I'll just, I'll go to, I hate to do it, but like go to Mixamo and, and find a, a throwing animation. I, I know I've got one somewhere, but. I'll find an animation. I'll retarget it, get it uh, set up. I'll put uh, a Cinti character in here. I know things that I want to do is maybe like a character selection screen, a save game, or game mode system for changing your character so that everybody's not playing the same character at the same time. Um, I don't know. It's free for all to me is easy and it's everybody against everybody. You know, if enough people say hey let's do a team red versus blue or whatever you know we'll come up with a team system but for now we're going to keep it free for all snowball fight um, I'll throw in some snow particle effects and you know like wind blowing and background sounds and a sound when you throw the snowball maybe and a sound when it hits you and a particle effect for the snowball bursting I'll be looking through all this stuff and see what I can come up with so you guys check back with me later. I may or may not stream again later. Don't know. I probably will. But I just want to start having some fun with this game. And we want this game to be fun. I don't want to try to be serious about this. I want I want to seriously make a fun game. Does that make sense? <laughs> so think of anything we can add to be fun. Like, you know, doing the yellow snowball. I mean, that's a thing. Um... God forbid where I'd find any animations for that, you know, where you take the snowball and then you, you unzip your pants and you pee on it, you know. So now for the next three seconds I have, or for that snowball, I have a yellow snowball. You just throw one yellow snowball. Um, yeah, think about fun things we can do to make this just stupid fun where you're playing it and not because you're trying to be the best at it, but because it's so fun playing with your friends and, and everybody else and just laughing your ass off, having fun. And that's the objective of this game is to laugh your ass off. I want your cheeks to hurt because you laugh so hard playing this game. You know, your 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 muscles in here are sore from laughing and grinning and and so forth. That's what I want the main focus of this game to be. A snowball fight is a low impact, non, really, no true violence. You know, you could be a, a dirty ass and grab a pine cone and pack some snow on it and throw a, a pine cone that's covered in freaking snow just because you're being an ass or, you know, a rock with snow around it so you can hurt somebody. But the whole point is making things funny and fun to play. So that's the goal. We're going to work on it. I'm going to take a break for a little bit and be thinking about what I want to add to it as well. And I'll start refining some of the things like replicating the snowballs and then um, start bringing in some music, some background sounds, things like that. I'll just create a test map that has, you know, four walls around it to keep you from falling out of the world and be able to do some test runs on it. And if I do decide to do test runs, I'll probably just put it on Google Drive and then just throw a link in the... Um, the UE4 section of my Discord for whoever's available to, to test with me so we can throw some snowballs at each other. Alright, see you guys soon and happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>